What we do today? Uh, well, if you haven't guessed it, we're gonna be doing what I consider one of the best things that this old British town has ever put on their their television screens. That's a massive statement. I, f I struggle to find better. I struggle to find something that has been so intriguing, something so well written, something that represents the UK to the fullest, even though it's about the popo. -po. If I was going to be a fed, I'd be one of these feds because they investigate feds. Well, <sighs> If you haven't guessed it, we're going to do Line of Duty. I mean, if you haven't checked out our live, we've done oh, an yeah. Insta live. So uh, make sure you check out the gram for that. So let's get into it. Line of Duty. I, I, I would agree with you when you say it's... It, I, I don't know if I can say it's the best. No, no, I said one of the best. Yeah, one of the best, definitely. This well, is it's one top of, five. Yeah. Top Fuck five. It. Yeah, but this is one of the best... This, this is one of the best things Britain has ever put on TV. Yeah. One thing as well, though, like... I, this isn't super relevant, but I want to big up um, Martin Constant, uh, who plays Steve yeah. Arnold, yeah? Because I watched him on the Jonathan Ross show, yeah? And his accent is thick Scottish. Thick Scottish. So for him to do that well, yeah, well yeah, yeah. versed English accent in this so, yeah, so it, perfectly. It is, it is flawless. I was like, but when I heard him in. in I, I mean, I didn't Ross, watch that, but. Um... I was like, what? How did you get brought into the show? I'm not too sure, you know. Was it a while back? Was you? Early? Yeah, I, 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 well, I was from watching the week. Yeah, we like when from I was when, wait, yeah when I was came. waiting. Okay, to come I out. jumped in maybe season three. Okay, and then backtrack. So when season three was popping, I remember I was at my boys. He was watching it. Mm -hmm. I saw an episode. I was like. I'm going to go home and watch okay. this. Lies, 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 lies. See what happens when you get in front of the camera and you just tell a lie. I tried to watch this yeah. and I didn't get into it first off. Okay. And I dropped it. Okay. Get me. And then a couple of weeks later or months passed, I was at my boys and he was watching mm. like an episode. And then I was like, right, I had seen this, but it weren't like this. Went back and then from then I binged all the way to season three, caught up, and then I've been a uh, I've been you following been, ever since. You've been a liner, is that what they call them? You know what? Despite what you think of it, how it ended, this has been a moment for British TV. The stats, the results, the attention. Like, this has been a moment for British TV that you don't see too regular. So, this is why Line of Duty is special. And I, I don't want to focus too much on the ending because <laughs> it was so good for me. It was so good. The whole six series was so good that I can't allow the lacklustre ending ruined everything else. So, when it comes to Game of Thrones, it was a little different because it really died out near the end. Yeah. Like, it really died out. Like, six, seven, eight was really poor. So, I had, it had kind of like died. This, died. this, this just went, if you know what I'm saying, it kind of just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. It kind of did that. It definitely got better. Yeah, bro. It definitely got better. I didn't think it could get better from season three when 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 they burst dot out of the out season of the, three was sick, bro. When they burst dot out of the thing and then the, the Range Rover was coming yeah, again yeah. and they this that and then they shot dot. Like I was like, how are you gonna top this? Like how how do you top that? But they did. The season with Stephen Graham was the best one for me. That was the best season for me. This is why I say that because we was debating whether or not we thought that season one to seven season one to six had been written already before yeah, they started yeah. this is why i feel like it hadn't i feel like they'd written some of it i, I personally i think they wrote season one not to be they, fair i don't think they did neither. okay yeah i don't think it, and that's why the ending was the way it was because i don't think they expected this they did like this. That ending would have been cool if no one was really paying attention to the show. Yeah, you hear me? If you, do you know what? Or if they never went that far. We're we're just disgusting. We ain't even explain what it is or nothing. So people, if you haven't actually watched it, um, so all that conversation before was for people that know what we're talking about. If you haven't actually watched it, um, Line of Duty is basically about a team of police officers called AC Twelve. AC Twelve. Yeah. yeah AC Twelve. Wait, wait. 
Where the synopsis well, I mean, the topic. synopsis surely is just well, what I you thought said. we could do, but yeah, the synopsis is a bit dead. On the it, synopsis so. can't really be that great. It's a one liner drama series following the investigations of it. Yeah, yeah. So, did so, um, like I said, yeah, so, um, it's a, a, a team of police officers called AC 12. But what their what their mo is is they go after corrupt police officers. Yeah. And if you're gonna be a fed, go after. Them. Yeah. So they're going after corrupt police officers. And from season one throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole series, there's a theme that there is a lot of. Well, there's a, a there's big, a hierarchy. Yeah, there's a hierarchy that go through organized crime, and there's high people in there's different people in places in the police force that are dealing with these organized crimes. Right, there's a handful of, people, handful of people that has been well, controlling. Yeah, controlling. Yeah. And the top person that they're looking for is this person called H, who we we found out who H was in the last barely, episode. Barely, 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 just barely. barely. Basically, the premise, but. There's so much twists, there's so much turns, there's so much one-liners, the acting's fantastic, you're like, you 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 empathize with the characters, like you feel like they're your people, like it's 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 a crazy roller coaster, man. It is it has a backbone story. Yeah. But every season's different. Yeah. So they bring in a character, there's like a special guest character they bring yeah, yeah, yeah. in every season that makes sense to the show, continues mm-hmm. to make sense. But it changes the dynamic of the yeah. season. The only one thing that makes me ask the question, did they have this written from start to finish? Mm-hmm. Because to keep that, let's say they only had it up to season three. Mm-hmm. To then add on another three seasons, mm-hmm. but keep it within that same theme of things, it was smartly done. Well, like I said, I was worried about this season um, from the ending of last season. Because you thought- felt like it should have ended on the le- last season, right? Yeah, but whatever happened, happened. We're here, season six. I really enjoyed the beginning of season six. I was like, okay, we know what we're doing. We're getting there. Like, we're on the same line of duty yeah. thing. We know where we're going. Um, but I did get very worried uh, at the penultimate episode. That's where it really worried me, was the this episode before the final episode where I, I finished it. It finished and I was like, there's just too much. There's just too much questions that, that they're not going to be able to answer yeah, yeah, yeah. in in one episode. Because so when it started, I was really hoping that this would be a super long episode. Yeah, I'm still waiting for someone to do that. I'm still waiting for someone to have thirty minute, thirty five minute shows, thirty five minute, thirty five minute, thirty five minute, and then the final episode is like an hour and a half or something. Like really, <laughs> who's done that? Someone has ended on a film more of a film. Has done a film? film. But is was it X Files? Yeah, but that was wasn't that wasn't like I mean. Like ended their season. Yeah, like ended the season on a movie. Yeah, yeah, if you know yeah, what I'm saying. But it's not like a movie. It's not just like an yeah, yeah. Episode. It's still yeah, extended episode. <clears throat> yeah, the last episode was not fantastic, but it, it wasn't good. It wrapped it up for me. They could leave it here, but they could carry it on if they really wanted to. Um, I don't think they should. If they was to continue this, they should do a spin-off. But um, yeah, this this season was. I don't think the whole season was disappointing. No. There was some highlights. Um, it did start off very predictable, but like I said on the live, the way it ended on each episode was like, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. Like, the episode may have not been what you wanted from it, but the way it ended was enough to be like, yeah, I'm going to watch the next episode. Yeah. I think everyone was in the same position with you, like, well... They've got to go all out. The budget's yeah. got to blow on this yeah. this episode, this last episode. From everyone was waiting for Sunday to be a budget blow. Yeah, I don't expect it. You see the um scene where uh they tried to transport that guy and they have snipers and whatever not. You expected that times Boom! ten with a little bit of Fast and Furious and the, I, you could have done anything. You could have cars flying for fucking roofs. I just wanted to see all out. Yeah, not even all out action, but this shit had to be. Budget blowing, you I, hear me? I, and it wasn't. Even with who they decided to go with as being H, I still think they could have they could have went with him. But if they would have hit what they were supposed to hit, it would have been better. So, like you said, the the explosions, the the gunfire, the, yeah, you just the, got nothing the, from yeah, it. Yeah. That little scene where 
You get me? They run up on the van after what you had saw two yeah. episodes before to know that the same guys did that. It was like, well, you were so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear yeah. me? You were so blatant yeah, before. Yeah, that now was spicy now before. You're getting I was like, yes. In saying that, people, this still reigns as a top show. Yeah. Despite the last season or last episode not being what you want from it or what not being how you wanted it to end this as a show is still a top tier show yeah regardless for, for that reason yeah is why well that reason and so much more is why i'm saying to watch it i think this is probably maybe the biggest watch it yeah of watch it or like not if so you've far. never seen this and you've managed to dodge all the little yeah, spoilers yeah. and this and that this is Probably one of the best binges you'll do. 100%. Honourable shout out to Adrian Dunbar, who plays Hastings. Um, he was my favourite character. I can't lie. His one-liners are are sensational. No, like, yeah, yeah. When he was, especially when he was in the interrogation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he say? Jesus, Mary and Joseph and the wee donkey. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick. She be she be laughing at the side of he her was, face now yeah. when I'm finished with her. What what's what's the opposite of an honourable shout out? Oh, I don't know, a non-honourable shout-out? It must be sad. Donkey of the... Yeah. Jackass. Yeah, Jackass. Jackass of the show. Jackass of the goes show. Goes to Kate, man. Vicky, McC Vicky McClough. Yeah, oh, man. She can't, she can't be the Jackass, surely. She, bro, I know I'm gonna... Bro. She was sick, bro. Do you know, you know, she was the one that was, like, bro, deep I, in everywhere. But I just don't like her acting, bro. And I don't find her believable, bro. Like, her pop... I don't know, there's something about her... Where it's like, she just don't really... Yeah, she don't deserve I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get at a man for his feelings. If you haven't watched it, let us know what you think of it after you have. And if you have watched it, let us know if you agree or you disagree. I would love to know, is there anyone out there that liked the ending? Is there anyone out yeah, there that, that was kind of satisfied of what, yeah, you know what, yeah, that was a good they ending. ended it, they didn't do too much with it, it made sense, let us know. Man. If there's anyone out there, I really, I, I, I would like to speak to you, I would like to know your uh, feelings on it, but um, yeah man, that's, that's that, Line of Duty, you can catch it on BBC iPlayer, it's still there, um, six seasons. I'm sure it will be there for a while too. Yeah, definitely.